In this video, we'll be comparing O1 Preview with GPT-40 and we'll be checking how these two models respond to the same prompts. Let's give the same prompt for both the models. So I'm giving the same prompt, create a landing page for a marketing company using Bootstrap 5. So let's try entering this one and this one. We saw that O1 preview took more time to generate the response. If you go through this thought process, we can see all these steps were happening and that's why it took more time than the GPT-40. So let's go to this one and you can see this one directly generated the response. So if you scroll down and see both the responses, both of the models created the template and uh, we can try running them and see which one is better. Now we'll be sending some follow-up prompts and we'll be making changes to both these. I've copied both the HTML to a file. So you can see ovenpreview.html and gpt4o.html. So just like the names, uh, both files were generated by different models. So we can try running them and check which one generated a better UI. So let's try running gpt4o.html file first. You can see this is the response that GPT-40 created. Our prompt was very simple and it was not a complicated or detailed prompt. So this was the response for that simple prompt. Now we can try running this Oven Preview. This is the response created by Oven Preview. You could see the massive improvement. So this was one created by O4 and this is the one created by Oven Preview. You could see the UI looks much better. We can give more prompts and make it much better. So we could try that. So now we can give more additional prompts to both the models and see if they could handle those. The next prompt that we are going to give is to add a background image. Since GPT-40 already had an image, we are asking it to change the background image and we are asking it to use some suitable images. And in the O1 preview, we are asking it to add a background image and also use image suitable. So let's try this, hit enter and wait for the response. Here you can see that O1 preview is taking much more time and it is going through thinking process. You could see that here, what is happening. Whereas the 4O has already generated, you could see the generation is almost complete here. And O1 preview is taking more time. So let's check the responses of both the models now. You can uh, scroll to the top and you can see both are giving responses, um, but we need the complete code. So we could just copy and paste them. So let's ask both of them to do the same. You can see they are just leaving the spaces for all the section there. So instead of that, we can ask them to fill in all those and give the complete code. So we are going to give this prompt, uh, give the complete code as a single file. And we are also asking it to not to use Unsplash because Unsplash documentation has changed and you have to implement authentication and all. So this type of accessing the image won't work. So if you try to access this URL, this won't work anymore. So it will show a 404. So we'll be asking it to change from Unsplash to something else. So let's try this prompt. So we have got the response. Now we can try copy pasting this code. So let's come here and copy and paste it. So I have copy pasted all the updated code to our file. So I have done for both the models. So this is the file for GPT-40. Now we can try running this one. So you can see GPT-4 has added an image to the background. So it simply added an image instead of the placeholder, which was already there. So let's check the what happened with the oven preview. So you can refresh and you can see it added an image here. So earlier there was no image, it was a color. Instead of that, it added an image and you can see all the other things are similar. You can see some uh, issue with this part. You can see the icon here is missing. Uh, we could fix that later on. That is a very minute issue. Now I have added both the old version and the new version. 
so we can try both of them and and compare the responses what happened so this was the old response of gpt40 so there was a placeholder here and the new one added an image instead of the placeholder it added an image that's it and with the oven preview if you try running this old one you can see there was a color instead of an image so in the new one it added an image here and if you scroll down you can see the issue with this digital marketing the icon is missing that persisted on the previous version as well so we can ask it to correct this one and it should fix it automatically so you can see the response is much better here so we could try giving more prompts so i am excluding gpt40 since you could see that oven preview is far better in case of programming you can see it is much better it is giving much better results also so we could try adding more things using this one and we could see what the final results will be so the response is complete now we can simply copy and paste this html so i have replaced the html code and saving this one and we can try running it so this is the updated version and if you scroll down you can see the icon issue is fixed here and if you scroll down you can see more improvements is added to this get in touch with us so my prompt was to uh, check and correct this digital marketing icon issue and also add something more to this get in touch with us section so it has done that so this model oven preview is far better according to my perspective so we'll be monitoring all the updates and will be informing you through the channel so do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post something new so hope you find this video useful if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos